Good evening, I'm Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here at Transact 17 with Tom Cunningham with iStream. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about what iStream does. So iStream is an all payments platform. We started out 13 years ago in the remote deposit capture space, moved into ACH because our clients like what we helped them on the bank side. And subsequent to that, they said, we love what you're doing with us on the bank side. Can you help us on that credit card side as well? So all of our, our platform, the intellectual property on the check and ACH side was all built by us. And we've partnered to provide that credit card side. And the end result is a We'll call it a one throw to choke a platform that you can t transact and reconcile all your business on. That's cool. Now, you're, we're all making the shift to mobile. Tell me about what your mobile initiative is. So interesting for us, over the years, we've had the mobile question a number of times. And our mobile clients typically were commercial customers and financial institutions selling to their commercial customers. And anyone who's ever tried to take an image of a check in large perhaps larger quantities, sees that there's shadows and other things. It works great for small volume, it's not the greatest for high volume. So we were resistant to it for a while until we realized that much of commerce is transacted outside of a home office. And so that field-based resource could be a, a plumber, an electrician, a delivery route driver, anything of that sort that is collecting payments in the field is a perfect application for mobile. So that was really our springboard into mobile to allow organizations to accelerate their receivables process by taking payment, actually getting it into the system upon completion of the job or delivery. Great. Now, and you said you've been in business for 16 years, and you probably have seen the landscape of the payment industry completely change. Absolutely. I think that over time, technology enamors people, but it has to work. And so if we look at the plethora of mobile wallets or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency and things like that, at the end of the day, most of those platforms come back, they all boil down to money moves on a single rail. Almost always, it moves on an ACH rail. A check comes in, it's scanned, it's an image cash letter, it moves via ACH. Credit card payments pushed out to that merchant, ultimately on an ACH rail. So ACH almost is the least common, or the most common denominator rather. And so figuring out the noise and the hype from what's really going to sustain long term is really the challenge and figuring out which path to go down is what we focused on. What do you think about real-time payments? What is that going to do to your business? It's interesting. We've looked at that because we know our customers are interested in that, so we're ready for that today. Um, it, the reality is, is, is someone really going to pay a premium for that? The other component is, is today, the way Notch has formulated it, it's still batch. It's still at specific times of the day. It's not truly a real time. It's same day ACH. So to get to truly real time, I think that the integration and the system's complexity with all the options and technology in FinTech would be a monumental task. I think that we'll ultimately settle on something that perhaps is just shy of real time, but gets closer to that being able to fund faster, get your money faster from your consumers, and arguably pay your vendors as well. Wow, that's great. Is there anything that you saw at the show that was surprising you? Well, honestly, for, for me, this is my first ETA. Um, I'm, I'm six years into the payments industry, so really taking it and absorbing it and trying to understand different takes. I think the biggest thing, my biggest takeaway, is the integration aspect. And what I mean by that is everyone here is focused on payments, but how we integrate, whether it's into a back office system, ancillary services or products that can be attached to that original payment transaction, I really think that that's the future of, we'll see payments, almost think of it as a payments plus concept. Oh, got it, interesting. So when you, uh, do you have like a sandbox for your customers to come in and develop stuff or is your, is your service out of the box? Our service is out of the box, but it's highly customizable. Obviously, every customer has slightly different requirements. One of the founding principles of our architected system was to not only be able to transact a payment, but any data associated with it. And so we've always focused on that. So whether your feed has to go into an Oracle, to a core processor, to first data, to TSYS, to a prepaid card, we have the flexibility in our architecture to deliver that, on top of the fact that we built our system to be bank agnostic. So we have coined the term, keep the relationship, change the process. Got it, great. Well, Tom, it was so nice talking to you this evening, and I appreciate your time. Thank you for the opportunity. You are so welcome, and thanks for watching.